Number two. Scalper Mania. Now, let's just let me address the problems with this. I don't like it. It's boring. It pads its plot. Badly! It made me hate Indian Whisper. It made me hate him. Plus, why would Garfield get roped in with money? Money like that. I mean, it would have been funny if he was like, Ooh, a million dollars? I could buy, like, I think a million was all yours was that. If we have made this episode a little bit better, and I also have no new reading at the end of that. However, here's another thing. Sonic's voice is annoying. Just take a listen to this ear atrophy. <laughs> I'm coming to you. Um, I'm gonna sell your red collectibles, dudes. Okay, so we got a the SNES classic. Yeah, it's super rare. It's wow, super this is such an awful and gnarly console, dudes. And it's not red because it's from Nintendo. Not Wait, why would Sonic hate Nintendo? Nintendo has Sonic games on it. I mean, the 3DS nearly has every Sonic game on it. Also, Sonic Styling is basically just 90s high surfer dude. That's it. Also, it wouldn't have been funnier if they didn't just blam into the into the pawn shop. It'd be funny if Japan would just walked in wearing mustaches. And he said, oh, I'm not Japan. And then he wants to buy the console after it's been sold. And it's like, you bought no dollars. And, has this, and it's really cruelly drawn. And the drawing on is a stick figure cat thing. And it's one zero short of being a million dollars. I do like how what Iggy and Whisper got, got back in the end. By Sonic not taking the money because the console was stolen. And they deserved it. However, the ending, the ending plot twist, which I'm not going to reveal since this hasn't released yet, just made me mad. Mm. Mad like you wouldn't believe. Also, they're really ignorant in this episode. Whisper and Amy, they're really, really ignorant in this episode. Maybe hate them. However, uh, there's an episode that made me hate Yoshi for a long while until Friday the 13th. I'll tell you what that is. We're studies. Yep. You got it. I knew this was gonna be number one from the start, didn't you? But I'm not going to go over everything I hate about this episode because this video would be nearly 45 minutes long. I'm not exaggerating. I might do everything wrong with it later, but not today. Because I don't want you studying here forever. So I'm just going to go over my problems with this episode in a nutshell. So the episode starts off with Yoshi waking up. Is that boy? But then, after only attacks him a few times, he makes an animal abuse joke. Animal abuse has nothing to joke about. That's just sick. Funny. Then, well then, he places a dry guy on a table. And then gives it... Mmm, <laughs> tasty. There were no jokes I found funny in this one. Often, Yoshi doesn't respect other people, Odie's opinions, even though that's not like his character. I honestly think the show, I mean, th this episode made him lose his personality. I mean, what can you tell me about Yoshi in the previous, what, 39 episodes before this? Yeah, 30, 
No. Yeah, 49. The forest. Everything. But can you tell me after the episodes after this? Nothing. Because he lost his personality in this one. Because he acts like a baby. He throws a tantrum when Foster Song for Imaginary Friends is on. But that's not how Yoshi acts. Yoshi is completely out of character in this one. And it made him lose his personality. I want the old Yoshi back. Not some personality less Yoshi. I honestly feel like Yoshi's turning into the Gady of Yoshimoto. Like, after being eaten once, Gady lost all of her personality. And after being eaten once, Yoshi lost all of his personality. And the entire BFB fandom hates Gady. Do you seriously want Yoshi to turn out like that? However, unlike BFB fandom, where they still hold grudges from like three seasons ago, there is one episode of the show that actually made Yoshi redeem himself. And it's Friday the 13th. It's where Yoshi, the real star, has this kind of Jason like guy who made Luigi and Obi get over their fear of bad luck in the number 13. I actually quite like that. He helped his friends get over his fear and his own pet dog. Yes, Odie, oh, Yoshi owns Odie in this show. Because it's John abandoned him, I think. How would this actually man with the end? I hope Iggy and Whisper can do the same. However, Scout for Manny was the latest release at this point, so. Who knows? Maybe we're going to do this. Maybe we're not. Maybe they were doing themselves once he leaves. Yoshi leaves the evil universe. Crap, I did it again. Maybe they're just acting evil because they're in the evil universe. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Anyways, let's get back to my problem with, um, which then is. When Odie has his therapy lesson, well, when Odie has his therapy lesson, um, I don't know how to explain this without getting mad. Um, when Odie is in his therapy- Okay, I'll try. When Odie is in his therapy lesson talking about how bad Yoshi is treating him, Yoshi literally breaks in. Seriously, dude, give Odie some privacy. Jeez. He's just trying to learn out his feelings. And so, he has the audacity to throw him out of the house. Ugh, this episode just makes me so mad. The other thing, Monty Mo got rid of. One of the funniest characters got rid of. They just made the show bland. Until I complained to bring him back. And, and Monty Mo got brought back. And Yoshi redeemed himself in the future, so I guess it all worked out in the end. I mean, again, Whispers still have to redeem themselves, but who knows? However, it actually teaches you a moral in this. Yeah, morals, how fun, yeah, I know. However, it's don't abandon your best friend, even though they have differing opinions. And I kind of like that. Also, what are you going to use a watermelon for? There's a watermelon in the background. <laughs> so you might be asking, why did I do this? Well, this is just constructive criticism. I like Yoshi Man. And I feel like it's been running down for lately. So I wanted to get rid of him. I just hope season 5 is good so I don't, don't have to say season 3 of Yoshi Modi was the last good Yoshi Modi season. I hope I don't have to say that. I, I just hope you take this criticism with a tiny pinch of salt. Not that much of a pinch of salt, but a tiny pinch of salt. To make the show, you know better. He even ridicules season 4 in Scalper Mania. I hope all of this constructive criticism that I put onto the list will probably help make Yoshi and Odie better than this boring and pandering and paling, padding its plot and less unfunny jokes and more funny jokes. I just hope, hope that you kind of learn and, and it's okay. You get to learn from your mistakes. Everyone does that. Everyone makes mistakes at this point. So you might be asking, what's the whole point of this? 
I just said, it's going to start from cruising to make Yoshi know you better. Because I want season 5 to be great, since this is the last season. I want it to be a kicker. I want the finale to be great. I'm recommending the finale, so I hope it's great. So, don't take this as hate. Just take this as constructive criticism. Also, I gotta say one more thing before I end. I'll show more screen time. However, secondly, I want to say one last thing, and it's a question. You like jazz? <laughs>